Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. Once there was a brother and a sister. The brother's name was Lazarus, and the sister's name was Mary. Now, we don't know a whole lot about either of them before they met Jesus. Many of the early church fathers, like Augustine, Jerome, John Chrysostom, Gregory the Great, say that the sister of Martha and Lazarus is Mary Magdalene, from whom Jesus drove out seven demons. And though scripture does, doesn't say explicitly, they believed that she was probably a prostitute. But the main thing we do know is that they were both deeply devoted to Jesus. And we know they were some of his closest friends. But we also know something about their debt to Jesus because we know that Christ rescued both of them. We know that Jesus actually rescued Lazarus from death itself. And we know that Jesus rescued his sister, Mary, from something much, much worse than death. Now, Advent is about preparing for the coming of Jesus. And when we meditate on this brother and sister, we come to know exactly why Christ came as Savior and what that means for us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Why was God born at Christmas? Why did he come? And what did he come to do? Jesus is God incarnate. That means he's all-powerful. So if he wanted, he could have come to cure all sickness, to end all physical death, all poverty, all military oppression. Sure, he, he did cure a couple of people with leprosy, but he could have eradicated all disease. And yes, he miraculously fed 5,000, but he could have miraculously fed 5 million or 5 billion or completely ended world hunger forever. And yes, he knocked down the temple guards with a word, but he could have toppled every corrupt government in the world with that same word. But he didn't. 
because he didn't come to save us from these secondary evils. He came to save us from the primary evil, our own sinfulness. And the reason for his miracles over worldly problems was to show his power over spiritual problems. Just before he heals the lame man, he says, This is so you may know that the Son of Man has power to forgive sins. His physical power is the sign of his spiritual power. And that's especially true of the miracles where he brought the dead to life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Amen. of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. There were three people Jesus brought back from the dead before his own resurrection. Jairus' daughter, who had just died. In a sense, she was barely dead. Then we have the widow's son, where Jesus interrupts the funeral procession and brings the corpse back to life. That guy had been dead longer. They were actually on the way to bury him. But the third person Jesus brought back to life was Lazarus, the brother of Mary Magdalene. And Lazarus, he'd been dead for four days. Lazarus was so dead that there was a smell from his decomposing body. Now, St. Augustine tells us that these three resurrections were performed to illustrate for us the three levels of sin from which Christ can heal and raise us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jairus' daughter had only been dead a little while, and some sins we just fall into for a little while, maybe even just once, momentarily. Well, Jesus can heal us from those sins. The widow's son, he'd been dead a lot longer. They were taking him to the cemetery. And some sins, we've been doing them a lot longer, and they're beginning to have a really lethal effect on our souls. They are taking us to a really bad place, a spiritual cemetery. Well, okay, Jesus can save us from those sins too. But Lazarus was dead, really dead, decomposing. If you had seen his body then, it might have been hard to know what he looked like when he was alive. And some of us have sins that are so deep and have been with us for so long that we might not even be able to imagine what we look like without them. Those were the sins of Mary of Magdala, a prostitute possessed by seven demons. If anyone had ever given up hope of being spiritually healed, it might have been her. But Jesus did heal her. He cast out the demons. He gave her back her dignity, and he turned her into a saint. This is the message of Lazarus and his sister Mary. Jesus brought the decomposing corpse back to life, and he brought the twisted, lustful, demonic soul to heroic holiness. So think what he can do for you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. In Lazarus and Mary Magdalene, Christ shows us there is no healing he cannot accomplish. He will raise our dead bodies back to life on the last day, but he offers you spiritual healing now. So what is your deepest vice, your deepest resentment or wound or disordered attachment? Can you not stop eating? Do you drink to ease the pain or pressure of reality? Do you suffer from envy or gossiping or looking lustfully at women? Can you just not stop trying to impress other people or worrying about your finances? Can you not stop being angry at your kids or spouse? These are all sins. These are all forms of spiritual death and corruption. But the good news is, they aren't you. You don't have to be that way. Because the Son of Man has the power to forgive sins and transform you. He raised Lazarus from the dead. He cast the demons out of the Magdalene. He can make a saint out of you. So don't stop going to him and asking him to do exactly that. In fact, he's waiting for you right now in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. He is disguised to look like a Catholic priest, but it's really Christ you will meet there. So go to him. He came to heal you, to drive out your demons to raise you from the dead. Can't you hear him calling? Lazarus, come out. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Very interesting place that I've been in the Holy Land, Teresa. Mm is just outside of Bethany, the home of, well, where Jesus would spend time with his friends, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. There excavated a series of first century tombs. Mm -hmm. And we don't know which one, if one of those was the tomb of Lazarus, uh. but they are first century tombs mm -hmm. right outside of Bethany. And to go down into that tomb... Wow. And think about Lazarus decomposing in death mm. and then hearing the call of Jesus and coming out of that darkness into the light. It is pretty powerful. It was pretty powerful. Oh, I'm quite jealous. But I, I was thinking of a gift, if you could call it a gift, <laughs> that Catherine of Siena had. Mm. She could smell sin. Mm. Oh, I don't know if that's a gift I want. She, she could smell mortal sin. Mm. And it was so bad that she couldn't even stand in the room. Mm. So, for example, there was a, a woman who was an adulteress who was uh, in a relationship with... Uh, someone of high standing, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and Catherine was asked to act as an ambassador to strike peace treaties between warring, uh. warring kingdoms. And she had to go interact with the, the head of this kingdom and his, his uh, mistress mm -hmm. was always there and she could hardly stand in the room. Wow. Because of the sin of adultery was uh, it, she could smell her decomposing soul. That's crazy. But she could, she had, the Lord gave her such a, such a strong sense of sin. Now, I, on the other hand, <laughs> since COVID, I've had almost no sense of smell. Uh -huh. And yeah, it ruins my, my culinary experience. I still think you're a lovely cook. <laughs> But I can't, I can't smell it. <laughs> but I'm also, I, I feel like I I have very little sense of smell for my own sin. Mm. But I think it's also such an important, you're right, it is a gift because I feel like if we could smell it, we are more averse to smell than we are to our own decay, which is a very sad thing. Yeah, I wish, but this is, so what I was gonna say, I wish I had a better sense of my sin, mm. which is actually the mission of the Holy Spirit. Mm. The mission of the Holy Spirit is to convict us concerning our sin so that 
we will make the choice to change. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I'm praying is for the Holy Spirit to give me a spiritual sense of smell for my own sin. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very cool concept. Because I think we don't have a sense of our sin, so we mm -hmm. don't make a good examination mm -hmm. of conscience, so we don't feel the need, the urgency to go to confession. Mm -hmm. I bet if I could smell my sin, I'd get to confession really fast. Yeah. I mean, you've probably never experienced this, but hey, the, where you've maybe been, uh, I remember this very well, from when I played football in high school, mm -hmm. that uh, after football practice, it was like, I need a shower really bad. Yeah. Uh, it's how we like, usually feel coming out of concerts. Yeah. Where that is a unique kind of reek. Yeah. You, you come out covered in someone else's sweat, which is a whole lot worse than just sweating through your jacket, you know? Yeah. If we... we if we could have the same realization so that we would run to confession mm -hmm. to be cleansed, to be set free, to be raised from the dead by Jesus. And it's also good to remember, it's powerful to remember, at Fatima, Mary promised the triumph of her Immaculate Heart. And she asked two things, that the Pope with all the bishops, consecrate Russia to her Immaculate Heart, which has happened, and that we would do something. Mm. Mm. She asked us to do three things. Pray the rosary every day. Mm. Offer up sacrifices. What you did not choose, do not like, and cannot change. Mm. But the third thing she asked us to do, which very few people do, is the five first Saturdays mm. of reparation. You know, it's the funniest thing and the least, I, this is on me because I should, I should be more aware of the greatness of my friends. But a friend of ours recently in our friend group, like a bunch of fresh out of college level, like 20 year olds, 20 somethings, you know, uh, he personally reached out to all of our friends to invite them to join him in the five first Saturdays. And keeps up to date and he texts all of us just before the first Saturday and he keeps everyone involved and we go dragging our feet, but he's still always, always, always on us about these five first Saturdays. That is actually a great way to help. So we're, we're in the first part of Advent mm -hmm. and a, a great way to help other people during Advent is to, or, like, or even the January 1st, the first Saturday in January yeah. to start this up, but to invite people, mm -hmm. uh, invite, say, Hey, did you know about the five first Saturdays? I'm going to go. Would you like to go with me? And, and then let's go out for breakfast yeah. afterward, or let's go get a coffee. Motivation, bartering, yeah, <laughs> bribing. But I think it's a really good point that we do lose our own spiritual sense of smell, but, uh, and not to get all plank in your eye, but it is helpful to have friends who can smell you. <laughs> no, this is but one of people the people you can trust to do so. This is one of the, the most important reasons to have a close group of family and friends so they can smell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, I have actually, I, I will never forget a, a very unfortunate when I was younger. I remember there was, there was one, one girl that had bad breath, nothing mm. else. She was mm. a really lovely person. She was mm. absolutely like just charming to be around, but had bad breath. And a lot of people wouldn't hang out with her because of that, but also they wouldn't tell her that she had bad breath. Yeah. And so she thought that people just didn't like her. Yeah. And it, it all unraveled from there. And I look back with such deep guilt for that because you, it's so difficult to be around people who just yeah. have, have any kind of smell, yeah. but it's so easily fixed and it's such a great loss to lose friends yeah. but when it comes to your loved ones if if they're doing things that you know is leading to the decay of their soul if, if it's making them harder to be around and you're not talking about it because you're a coward because i was a coward then and i feel very mm. very bad for mm. not addressing it for her own sake that's 
That's very convicting. Mm. We, But it's so hard because we fear that we're going to lose the relationship or we're going to be rejected or, yeah. or and we don't want to face the conflict. Is it really all of that or are we just afraid of being awkward? Um, I, I would say, honestly, for me, it I'm... It depends on the situation. I, I don't there want... Are greater, there are situations in which bringing certain things up, people would cut you off. Yeah, I, and I don't want to hurt the relationship. Yeah, yeah. But now we can go back to what we mentioned a few days ago in the rosary, that if if we're always inviting them to do good things together, fun mm -hmm. things together, and we're always complimenting them on genuine things, mm -hmm. then they know yeah. our our genuine our genuineness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we probably build a foundation where we could. And then they know their worth and they're in a more stable place to handle criticism when it comes. But you can't jump in with nothing but criticism. You have to be their support. There's also tact and ways to properly approach that. Yeah. Like privately. Mm -hmm. Privately, number one. And humbly. Mm -hmm. Privately and humbly. That's a good, that's two good principles. To, well, actually, make sure it's built on a foundation of genuine friendship. Mm -hmm. Then do it privately, do it humbly, but don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. Mm -hmm. And invite the first Saturdays. And go out to breakfast afterward. Yeah. Well, I want the Holy Spirit to give me this sense of smell of my sin. But at the same time, I'm really afraid of what that might be like. <laughs> we'll, we'll just entrust that one to Our yeah. Lady. If you suddenly become a hermit, I will know... You can smell our souls. Or I'll smell my own soul and oh. won't want to come out. Well, thank you for the conversation. Thank you. That was lovely. Let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.